Hey beautiful people of the internet, my name is Ryan and some days I feel like the time between videos passes far too quickly. Today I'm going to be participating in an extra special challenge that you book lovers out there might enjoy. Challenge because that sounds much better than thing I do in front of a camera alone. Special challenge because I need modifiers to feel okay about myself inside. And extra special challenge because, like I said, I need to feel okay inside. <laughs> Disclaimer, here's the deal. Today I'm going to draw five of the most well-known book covers. The ones that are kind of instantly recognizable. The problem, of course, is that I actually suck at drawing, uh, as is evidenced by my Freedom cover. I guess we're gonna see how unrecognizable I can make these very recognizable book covers all, you know, with the best intentions of drawing them, with doing it right. Alrighty, let's get this classic book cover challenge started. I asked some of you guys what the most recognizable book covers are to you all, and I'm just going to take five of the most common answers on that. First is Where the Wild Things Are. Oh no. Ta-da! Okay, I'm gonna put the actual cover up here and then show you my cover and we can talk about it. I'm gonna be completely honest. I think this needs to be the new cover of a book called Where the Wild Things Don't Look Like Wild Things. I think I kinda jacked this one up. Um, I actually forgot the like sailboat that goes over here until I'd already put down the blue of the water. You'll notice my incredible spacing skills in that I got wear on their pretty large and then continue to taper off until R barely actually fit. With a start like that, this video can only go up from here. Alrighty, next is The Giver, which is a book that I read so many times. Uh, I have not yet seen the movie though, so hoping to do that soon. Okay, The Giver. Ta-da! So I know it makes a lot of sense um, for those of you who have read The Giver, but the big problem with this one was just how much black and white is on the actual cover. Like I actually got to the point where I was just really enjoying the one yellow stamp that is not actually a part of the cover, but that's been on the cover forever. You know? Now that I'm looking at it, I think me and this guy might be related. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay, next up is a book that I very thoroughly enjoyed uh, just a few years ago, and the cover is such a classic, Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. Catch 22. Uh huh. One of the things you'll notice about this brand new piece of art is that the artist really cares about the details. For instance, there's a hyphen in there that he almost forgot, but instead caught himself and managed to correct, which doesn't really matter because he also jacked up the name Jos. Heh. I'm actually pretty happy with this, but I'm not sure if that's because I'm getting better at this or because the actual cover looks like it was drawn with Sharpie in the first place. Alrighty, I have a feeling this is going to be a slight pain in the butt. Uh, the next classic cover, instantly recognizable cover, is Watchmen. Okay, this uh, one took me the longest, despite looking the simplest. Watchmen! I mean, literally, it's got a smiley face eye, some blood, and then the title. But this title is made out of all of these weird 
disconnected black pieces that just make this so hard. Also, apparently the yellow marker doesn't work so well, and so this took forever to fill in. But I do really love Watchmen, and the cover is definitely instantly recognizable. Okay, last but not least, odds are if you are an American, and you think of instantly recognizable book covers, you think of this book. It's The Great Gatsby with the great eyes of Dr. Eckelberg. I hope I got that right. Dr. T.J. Eckelberg. Yep, I got it right, and that's a good thing, because this is a book channel, and if I would have messed that up, it would have been the end of everything. Okay, Great Gatsby. Alrighty, took me long enough, but I'm finally done. There's the Great Gatsby, and it looks like T.J. Eckelberg's eyes are crying, but I swear that's just the way the Sharpie worked out. Yeah, I didn't do so well with this one. <laughs> but that doesn't matter, because here at For the Love of Ryan, we're all about the love of books, not the skill with which their covers are drawn. This one was actually a lot of fun though, just because this cover kind of gives me chills every time I look at it. Okay, we are done. Alrighty, that's all I got for this week's video. I will see you next Monday, and the Monday will probably come far too quickly. I don't know if you've heard before, but there's this like, subscribe button down below. All I'm saying is, if you click it with your mouse, I get really happy, and my mouth goes like this. There is, below this video, a like thumbs up thingy. If you click it, I like pure joy is just inserted into my bloodstream via IV. That actually sounds really painful. I just gain a lot of joy when you do that. I don't know, it's weird. Welcome to my channel. Okay, I'll see you all later. Best wishes! Long story short, read a friends and novel. And in my book, read the corrections. Uh, because it's his best, and because if you're an American, it's gonna mean something extra. In my book. I'm sorry. That's so lame. I, I feel like my channel should be stolen from me and, and I should never have access to it again. YouTube, spare these people.